Welcome to Electron Online. One of the useful applications of factoring is solving quadratic equations. Here we have the equation y is equal to x squared minus 2x minus 15. And on the right side, we've drawn the graph that represents this equation. Notice that with quadratic equations, we have a parabola when we try to graph them. And quite often, the parabola will cross the x-axis in one or more places, or one or two places, not more, I should say, one or two places. Sometimes not at all, and we'll get into that at a different video. But here we can see that it crosses the x-axis at x equals minus 3 and at x equals plus 5. Finding those two points is what we call solving the quadratic equation. When we try to solve an equation, it's finding the points where the graph crosses the x-axis. So how do we do that with something like this? The first thing we do is we set y equal to 0 because notice when the quadratic equation, when the graph crosses the x-axis, that is at a point where y is equal to 0 because it is on the x-axis. So we're going to set y equal to 0, set y equal to 0, and we get 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 15. What we're going to do now is factor the right side of this equation. So 0 is equal to, and we're going to get two parentheses like this. Since we have a 1 in front of the x squared, we can write x and x. The last number here is a negative number, which means the signs are positive and negative. So let me put a positive here and a negative there. And now we're looking for two numbers in such a way that when we multiply, we get negative 15. And when we add, to get, when we add the two together, we get a negative 2 which means the larger number is negative and the smaller number is positive and they differ by 2. So 5 and 3 differ by 2. If I make the larger one negative, I get a negative 5 and a positive 3. And this is the factored form of this particular trinomial. So here, what we did was we factored just like we did in the previous videos. And now we have two binomials multiplied together and they equal 0. Well, whenever you multiply two things together and you get zero, that means either one or the other should be zero. So this means that either x plus 3 equals zero or that x minus 5 equals zero. Otherwise, when you multiply them together, there's no way to get a zero. Well, if the first case is true, we get x equals minus 3. If the second case is true, we get x equals 5. And those happen to be the two solutions to the quadratic equation, which means the quadratic equation or the graph representing the equation crosses the x-axis at minus 3 and crosses the x-axis at 5, just like what we've drawn over there. And that's how we use factoring to solve quadratic equations.